All right, just taking a quick look at this new Pecron power station. This is Pecron's newest model. And you can tell that right away by these green buttons. So we'll talk about that more here in a second. And there's some other new features here as well. How about battery heating? I haven't seen this feature offered in a, you know, one kilowatt hour power station before. So this would be real appealing, you know, if you're out camping or car camping, whatever, in cold temperatures and you want, you know, a small portable power station, this one, you might want to take a look at this one. And of course, this thing has pretty much all the other top specs that the new power stations have, including the ability to expand this unit. So yeah, we'll talk about, yeah, we'll definitely get into that. Let's talk about the battery and just kind of this, you know, the unit itself here. Yeah, it is LFP, of course, 35 plus 3,500 plus cycles, and that is to 80%. So these are good cells for sure. And as I mentioned, kind of the real standout feature here is battery heating. Yeah, again, you know, this is something unusual in this size class. So they're saying basically, you know, if it's below freezing down to negative 20 Celsius, you can activate this electric heating module and it'll actually heat the cells to a above freezing so then you can charge you know basically you can charge them so it doesn't matter you know it doesn't matter how cold it is outside you'll be able to charge this thing up and since we're talking about charging yeah let's talk about the specs here real quick you can put up to a thousand watts into it you know just the standard wall cord you know there's no power brick it's a bi-directional inverter and that is you know of course a 1c rate isn't it because this is about one kilowatt hour battery the solar is actually pretty good as well 600 watts and that is up to 60 volts so you know it's not the greatest spec but it's pretty good and usable and they do say here i think in this little graphic they're indicating up to 20 amps too so that'd be that'd be real nice as well and you know another thing that's really nice about pecron in general is you know all these different charging methods guess what they give you all the cables that you're going to need. You know, most of the top companies now, they're, they're skipping that stuff, right? They're trying to cut costs. So, you know, and especially if you're just buying your first power station here, it's really nice to have that included, isn't it? So, yeah, good job on Pecron to include that stuff. They give you a little bag for it as well. And this model, since we're talking about, you know, what it comes with, yeah, you can actually upgrade the warranty to five years as well. So uh, it's a two year warranty and you probably get, if you register it, you probably get those extra three years. So that's peace of mind as well. You know, Pecron, it's kind of a budget brand, but a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of people that are big fans of Pecron because you get a lot for your money and they just work, you know, they just work. They don't, there's nothing fancy about them, but they work and they do, you know, what they're intended to do. And now here's the really cool thing is that you can expand this you know, this is just a one kilowatt hour. It's 29 pounds, you know, very small, very portable power station. It can do a lot of stuff on its own, but you can expand this thing up to almost, well, actually over four kilowatt hours with one extra battery. This is what's awesome about this is you can actually use the Pecron. This is a 48 volt, 3000 watt hour, three kilowatt hour battery. This is like the big one. <laughs> this is for like their big power stations. You can actually hook it up to this little unit, this, this little E1000. And this is awesome because, you know, this E1000 is so light and portable, you can take it with you, you know, on your adventures, camping, whatever. And then if you want to use it for home backup, guess what? It's perfect, isn't it? because you can just leave this big battery at home, right? You can just leave this big battery in your house. You don't got to move it because the battery, this battery is almost 60 pounds. So you can just plug it in, you know, when you need some extra power, like if you got a power outage or something, right? So, and by the way, you know, they will sell you, they have a whole bunch of different bundles with this thing. One of them, is this trolley cart so you know technically you could move this whole system as well but yeah i think you know ideally you probably just want to you know have the battery sit at home and not really touch it not really you know move it 
But you could, you could. So yeah, there's a ton of different bundles. You can get the trolley cart, you can get the battery, you can get solar panels, you can get, a, you can get everything basically. And this three kilowatt hour battery actually has some outputs on it as well, including a 30 amp DC output, you know, 100 watt USB-C. So you can use that too, you know, on its own a little bit. And another thing that comes in handy, you know, if you're worried about power outages is a UPS function, right? Pretty good spec on this, kind of a wide range there, eight to 20 milliseconds, but I guess, you know, they're saying 20 milliseconds would be like the absolute worst, worst case scenario. So that's pretty good. You know, hopefully you would normally get like between 10 and 15 milliseconds. You know, that will definitely keep a computer on. So, you know, that's, again, very handy for power outages, for home emergency power. And then also, you know, as I talked about, 29 pounds for this unit, you can take it with you anywhere as well. So let's talk about kind of the more the more of the details here. Yes, it is an 1800 watt inverter. So that's, you know, the same as your wall outlets basically. So that's what will enable you to use it properly, you know, for home backup. No, you're not going to, you know, power multiple big loads at the same time. You're not going to power anything 240 volts, but this will cover the basis, right? This, you know, you'll have power. You'll have power and you'll be able to plug stuff into it, your normal stuff even if the power is out. And, you know, yes, it's only got the one kilowatt hour battery, but that's, again, what's so awesome about having this option to expand it, you know, to four kilowatt hours with just one battery, just one connection, you know, one cable. Uh, this was, you know, I actually love this, this concept. You know, this is something that EcoFlow actually debuted with the new Delta 3 Plus. That's, you know, the one kilowatt hour Delta two replacement basically. And that thing, they allow you to hook up the Delta pro extra battery, which is actually four kilowatt hours. So kind of the same concept, you know, you can hook up a huge extra battery to a small lightweight portable power station. And of course, you know, Pecron, you're, it's, <laughs> hey, it's gonna be a lot cheaper if you go the Pecron route, right? Than the EcoFlow. And then for the DC stuff, you get, you know, you get all the USB stuff. You're going to want a couple of hundred watt USB C's. The 12 volt is interesting. They're saying up to 20 amps output, and there's three different ports. Basically, there's, you know, the standard car socket. There's a 5525, so that's slightly thicker than the 5521 barrel port. And then guess what? There's actually an XT60. DC output. So that's probably the one that can do 20 amps, right? So that's cool. It's not, you know, it's not the full 30 amps that a lot of people, you know, want from a 12 volt source, but 20 amps is a lot more than, again, any, pretty much any other power station in the size class. So very cool. Now to go back to these buttons, as I, as I talked about, this is the newest design from Pecron. So all their other models just had, you know, regular black buttons, right? They're just black plastic. So they're calling this fluorescent buttons. So I don't, to me, that kind of makes it sound like, I mean, obviously they light up green when they're on, but using the term fluorescent kind of makes it sound like they're almost like glow in the dark, even if they're not on. That would be really cool. You know, that way you can see where the button's at in the, in the dark. But I don't know, you know, it could be, you know, trans, there could be a translation thing here too. So I don't know. You know, I don't know if that's actually the case, but, you know, clearly, yeah, they do light up green. So, yeah, just, you know, it just makes it easier. Again, makes it easier at night. And another nice thing is this screen is actually updated. So it's still not color. Pecron doesn't like to do color screens. But, hey, you can see there's a ton of information on here now, a ton of different icons. And what's cool that Pecron has been doing lately is one of these, you can see there's a V right here. One of these will actually tell you the voltage of the battery pack. So it's just kind of a cool, you know, it's kind of a cool little thing if, you know, you like to really geek out on this kind of, you know, power station battery stuff. So that is cool, you know, and it'll show you, yeah, input, output. It'll show you the actual, you can toggle the voltage and the percentage there. Of course, you got that battery icon as well. And here, you know, it'll tell you, you know, you're basically if you're using the AC inverter, you know, 60 hertz or whatnot. So 
yeah, just, you know, a lot of cool stuff. And then, of course, these icons in the corner mean, yes, you know, this product does have or does support an app as well. You don't have to use it. But, yeah, there's probably additional settings and stuff in there that you can access through the app. So, again, this is like, you know, all the features, really, all the features that kind of the, the bigger power stations have, right? I mean, and some unique features here as well with the battery heating and the 20 amp 12 volt outlet and the ability to expand it you know to four kilowatt hours which is, it's awesome isn't it and of course you know pecron it's going to be at a good price as well so it'll be interesting to see you know what they do for black friday because there's <laughs> there's a lot of competition now and the prices i don't know if you guys have been noticing this but the prices have really been starting to come down now because all this technology, you know, is, be, is being mass produced so much now. So many people are buying these power stations, yes. But a lot of this technology is actually the same technology that's developed for electric cars, right? So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. And, yeah, thanks for watching.